Hello, Internet. My name is Connor, and I've decided to do a vlog. I'm not entirely sure what I want the vlog to end up being, and so I kind of want to steal a few ideas from people that I've been following and see kind of how it morphs from there. I've been thinking about what I wanted this to be, or maybe what I didn't want it to be, and the more I thought about it, the more I just thought about it. And so I realized that I was never gonna actually do it unless I just started with something. So initially, what I want this to be is uh, kind of like a conversation. If there's stuff that you, know, you feel like should be talked about or you want to talk about, really serious stuff or just really stupid stuff, I really don't care. I want people to get engaged and have a conversation. Really what it makes me think of is a couple of weeks ago, I guess it was like probably last week, I posted a picture on Facebook and basically the, the gist of it was if you have an opinion that you think is unpopular, to post it and everyone else was supposed to comment and say agree or disagree, just to see if your comment was actually unpopular. And we had kind of a wide range of opinions on here, all the way from Miranda, who believes that breakfast is okay to eat for dinner. I personally disagree. Or Mike, who says that Star Wars is okay at best, all the way to People like Steven, who took it a lot more serious. Politics has become way too involved in the business of individual lives. Some people said, well, I think actually everyone agreed. I think we can all agree. Melody thinks that people don't read enough anymore. Leah believes that toilet paper should go under. Wilson said that Leo's best role was in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. I personally agree. Danae, I think, hit it on the head. It is hypocritical to ask someone to be open-minded without you being open-minded yourself. Which is kind of the point of the whole discussion. And this is kind of the reason that I posted it. I wanted to see who would actually follow through with it. The whole premise of the post was that people not argue with each other. They just say agree or disagree. So that you could kind of see that there were people that disagreed with you, which definitely happened. And what I saw was as we went, there were people that couldn't hold it in. There were people that were so passionate that they had to defend what they believed against someone they didn't even know. And I'm pretty sure that about 100% of the people that were talking back and forth and that were getting kind of mean to each other didn't know each other. I knew people on both sides that were arguing about these things. And even though there were beliefs that were very morally grounded, they were about moral issues that you feel that you really shouldn't compromise what you believe in, yelling at someone else because they believe differently than you really doesn't help anything. I've really never been convinced of anything because someone told me I was an idiot. At least that's just what I think. If you disagree, definitely tell me. Comment on this video, let me know what you think. And let me know why you think that. Let me know. Let's talk about other stuff. Let's talk about some cool stuff. The first cool thing that I wanna talk about is a video that I saw on YouTube. Uh, it's from an account called Editing Is Everything. And it is, it's like a trailer for The Incredibles, but in seven different genres, which really the name of the account explains it. Editing is everything. You can take a story um, and you can turn it into whatever you want if you understand how to present it. Uh, I liked it, I thought it was a cool video. The second thing that I wanna show you is a little on the weird side. It is called Guardians Inferno. It's got David Hasselhoff in it, and I'm not gonna show you a lot from this video, I kind of want you to see it for yourself. Just know it's a little strange, but just keep watching. The last thing I want to show you, go ahead, click the link down below. It's a trailer for Encino Man, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen it, then just go down to your local um, Hollywood video. If you have one, you don't, I'm sorry. Um, but it is on Hulu. It's not on Netflix, but it's on Hulu and you can get it on YouTube for like three bucks, I think. Definitely see it. Uh, it's got Polly Shore, Brennan Frazier, Alexa, how do you say Sean Astin's name? Sean Patrick Astin is an American actor. Okay, yeah, no, that's how you say his name. Sean Astin. Uh, those are, they're the main characters. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. It's very funny. So please see it. Uh, don't come back till you've seen it. I, I promise you'll like it. Unless you don't. In which case, I'm sorry, but go away. So, here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna do one of these shows every week. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna do my best to make one of these shows every week. But what I want you to do 
is comment below on some stuff that you want me to talk about. Bring up a topic, bring up a conversation, um, and start talking about it. Explain how you feel about something. Bring up something that's a current event, uh, something that you think is cool, something that you think is stupid, um, maybe something you're passionate about, maybe something that you don't really care about. Basically, I just want you guys to start talking about stuff. And I will talk about some of those conversations next week on the show, and we'll just go from there. If there's stuff that you guys want me to do on this show, I know some of you guys, uh... I have glitter all over me. So, fun story, um, the other night my wife had a migraine, and she, uh, got in the bathtub, and was it, was it for your birthday? Christmas. One of our friends gave her a set of these bath bombs. If you're a dude, you may not know what these are. If you're a single dude, you probably don't know what these are. They're these little balls that you drop in the bathtub. The hot water makes them dissolve and they have like chemicals inside of them that calm you down or give you energy or whatever the crap you want it to do. So she put one of these bath bombs in there and it had uh, tea leaves and glitter in it. There was glitter in the bathtub. It's been a day and a half, two days, I think. And there's still glitter in the bathtub. And I bet you a week from now, there will still be glitter in the bathtub. And you know what else? There's glitter on my hands. There's glitter on everything in the house. After she got out of the bathtub, she laid down on the couch to watch a TV show. There's glitter on the couch. So guess what else there was glitter on? All of this, all of me. And today I went to work and there was glitter on my neck. I did a TV shoot and there was glitter on me and people noticed. So long story short, if you're buying a bath bomb, ladies, and you have a husband, just, just check and see if there's some glitter in it. And if you want to play a prank on your husband, get the kind with glitter in it, and then don't tell him. Anyways, a couple of you guys have mentioned that you kind of wanted me to do like a lifestyle type of vlog. And you know, it's, it's, it's a popular thing to do. You get Casey Neistat, Logan Paul, Roman Atwood, all these guys are doing their daily vlogs and they're going places and showing you, A, I don't know if my life is all that exciting. B, I don't necessarily have the best gear for that. Maybe eventually I will, but currently we're gonna hang out in this living room for a little while. So yeah, let me know what you wanna talk about. Put it down there or up there, I don't know. Or over there, wait, over there. And next week, we'll talk about it. And that's that. Anyways, that's all I got for now. Tell me what you think. You guys have a good week. Thanks, Internet.